Hello organizers, viewers and friends around the world. I am Anirin Goenka, participating in the VR Cap Challenge from Singapore. First of all, I'd like to thank the panel of judges for selecting me as a finalist. I am proud to represent Tomasek Primary School where I am a student of Primary 5. I've been doing robotics for the last three years. I was introduced to robotics in my school and took it up as my co-curricular activity. Since then, I've been hooked to it. It has been an enjoyable and great learning experience. Let me show you my school's robotics lab. Good afternoon, Mr. Hey, good afternoon, Ayu. What do you think about this program? Oh, this is very impressive. Well done, Anil. Thank you. Hmm? It was in 2018 when I first participated in an RCAP challenge with my school team. It was a great learning experience for me and my team as we realized the level of difficulty in coding and how well the other teams performed. That inspired us to do better and we return next year again to win the third place in our co-space first step under 12 category. Let me show you the trophy. The challenge mission was to develop and program strategies to navigate and collect the red, cyan, black, super and super plus objects and deposit successfully within the given time to maximize the points. I've broken down the challenge tasks into multiple mini tasks like navigation within the virtual world, avoid obstacles, collect objects, avoid traps, deposit objects and detect the orange area. My overall mission was solved when each of the above mini tasks were completed in the order. Then I used other advanced strategies like using the blue area, various markers, local variables, follow the wall, etc. to increase my point collection. The robot didn't perform as per the code and I had to do multiple rounds of debugging patiently for each of my statements to achieve the optimum result. First example, I continuously changed the value of the left and right wheel speed to identify the speed of the robot to collect the maximum objects as well as avoid the trap. I also controlled the speed in various segments of the map and documented the improvements on a chart. Second example I would like to share is I first use the left or right sensor to detect the marker and then turn to zero degrees. I realize that my robot is freezing and it gets stuck into an infinite loop. I then changed the condition to use both left and right sensors together to detect the purple marker and turn to zero degrees. When the robot turned to zero degrees, one of the sensors goes outside the marker zone, and that solved my problem. Here is a video. As you can see, my robot detects the green marker, turns to, zero, turns to 90 degrees, and then detects this blue marker, turns to 0 degrees, and goes to this. Let me share my strategy for this challenge in detail. Hope this video will be useful for others starting their co-space journey. First, I created a flowchart on the right to logically sequence my robot activities and updated the same by scanning ultrasonic sensors and RGB sensor values, positions, duration, key action, wheel speeds, and LED value. I also sketched the control of the flow of my robot movement to move within blue area 
to collect double points course snippet pe go here is the here is a video of the game as you can see my robot is navigating across the whole blue area like i programmed it to do so it can collect double the points of each object to conclude there's still a lot of scope of improvement but i am overall satisfied with my results in my next implementation i would change my strategy to collect two sets of red cyan and black objects to generate a super plus object on each deposit i will then use the position x and y of the super objects to move the robot in that area and then follow the wall at 15 cm to collect it to increase my points through continuous experiment i try to identify problems in my program and work on them patiently to make my algorithm more effective We have seen that the competition map was changing all the time and we had to adjust to the new map quickly. Two important life lessons that I, that I have learned are being patient and continue trying and adapt to changes. This gave me the opportunity and platform to showcase my logical thinking and programming capability by competing with the best participants around the world being recognized as various award categories has made me confident and inspired me to keep the momentum by continuing to learn i'm planning to organize a hackathon event in my school with the help of my teachers to encourage students to come up with innovative ideas for robotics and AI to solve common problems. I'm open to collaborate with other participants to share ideas on improving the program. Feel free to reach out to me at the email provided. Bill Gates once said, robotics and other combinations will make the world pretty fantastic compared with today. Thank you all for watching my presentation.